What's happening, people? Back with another reaction. I'm back with some more Bad Religion. And I actually just got goosebumps when I was thinking of the tune I'm going to react to. Um, I mentioned it before, the three album run, Suffer No Control Against the Grain. I do think it's sort of the absolute peak of Bad Religion's creativity and productivity. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love all their albums, including right up into the present day, Age of Unreason, fantastic. Um, but for, yeah, my taste, I really do think the Suffer No Control Against the Grain three album run is just flawless. There's not a single bad song or even single mediocre song in any of those albums. Uh, and I mentioned before, I don't really have a favorite between the three. If I had to choose, there's a while where I kept saying that No Control might be my fav favorite. So, um, like I said, I, you know, there's nothing bad uh, by Bad Religion to my brain. Um, but there are three albums which really stand out, and this one might just stand out the most. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we're going to listen to Billy. As I said, uh, this tune is about... The fragility of humans in terms of, you know, we uh, can be creative, we can be, you know, social, we can be productive and so on, but there is a delicacy to humans and our brains, and although they can withstand a barrage of um, chemicals and other things, at the end of the day, if one is not careful, if one takes things too far, it can cause irreparable damage and ultimately lead to a winnowing out of that personality and intellect um, to the point where they become a lunatic barking at the moon, um, to borrow a line from the song. So I don't know who Billy was, I assume it's somebody um, that uh, one of the members of the band knew, um, Brett, uh, maybe Greg, I'm not sure. Um, but again, knowing that uh, Brett has struggled with addiction issues in his lifetime, especially I think in the 90s, um, I'm sure this song, you know, is sort of has a personal element to at least somebody in the band. Um, and again, uh, you know, I made it through my teenage years and my early 20s um, where I did a lot of experimenting, shall we say, um, and maybe, you know, beyond experimentation to a bit of indulgence. Nevertheless, I made it through those years and ultimately did learn to sort of you know, take more control of my life in terms of not doing things that in the long run will cause, like, you know, crippling uh, mental damage and so on. Um, so yeah, I sort of made it through, but I do know some people, or at least remember some people, um, who weren't so lucky or who at least um, had substance abuse issues to the point where it was causing major issues in their life. Um, so yeah, this is something that's, this song and its message or its theme um, is sort of close to my heart, even though I thankfully did not go through the worst of such things. Um, so yeah, this song um, is more on a like personal psychological level than some of other Bad Religion songs. But again, I think they always do a good job of like, even when they're talking about sweeping political or historical concepts, they do often blend the personal with the grand, um, which is an indication of their songwriting quality. Nevertheless, let's get to it. This is Billy from Bad Religion's album, No Control, which I believe is 1989. Do we have that here? Yes, 1989. Darkest game arcade. The precious was lacking in the present. His aptitudes were carelessly wasted and he squandered the hours of his day, despite having a lot of potential. He then exchanged his friends for a needle and a spoon and threw his future away. Locked the door and threw away the key. So where is the justice when no one is at fault? But a human life is tragically wasted. How fragile is the flame that burns within us all? The light is passing day. So true. 
I do apologize. It's hard in Bad Religion especially. I feel compelled to sing along with Bad Religion more than any other band just because I've spent so much time listening to their lyrics over the years. Um, and so, and you know, I mentioned Propagandi I've listened to even longer, but especially in recent albums, Propagandi's lyrics are like, the way they stretch around the different musical phrases is like not always like clearly intuitive, whereas Bad Religion I think often has a more like, you know, uh, poetry sort of approach, so it, the lines like read a little easier. For whatever reason, uh, Bad Religion is the band that I find myself most wanting to sing along with, so I do apologize. My voice isn't great and ultimately you're here to, uh, you're here to hear the song. Uh, nevertheless, um, it will happen occasionally, I do apologize. Um, but like I said, I really do feel the progression of that song, the way that this, you know, talented and like interesting and, you know, maybe bright person um, ultimately succumbs to indulgences that, you know, occasionally and in isolation may not be a big problem, certainly when you're, you know, coming of age and trying different things and whatever. But if you can't get out of that, if you get stuck in a loop like that, and if you begin indulging to the point where it's excessive and it's tipping into other parts of your life and causing you to, you know, steal money or borrow money and not pay it back and so on, it ends up cascading and just like collapsing your life in on itself. Um, and again, I've seen it happen. Um, thankfully, you know, not too many times and not like in the, the most terrible ways, but um, I have seen some people who just couldn't get out of some of these cycles that they were in. Um, so yeah, it's one of those things where that line, like how fragile is the flame that burns within us all, um, it really hits me. So um, yeah, it's a song where I think Bad Religion really keys in on like a social issue, but also it's psychological and it's personal and it's, you know, um, anecdotal. There, you know, maybe, I don't know if Billy was actually a person by that name. I assume this is based on a person and maybe, you know, the names were changed to protect the innocent. But um, yeah, the way a social issue can combine with psychological issues and an interpersonal sort of anecdotal story um, I think is very powerful. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're a big fan of this song or this album. I talked, there are a couple people have commented on um, different Bad Religion reactions I've done already. Um, and some were saying like, Suffer for them is the absolute one. Someone else said Against the Grain is the absolute one. So I know there's a lot of people who love this period from Bad Religion as I do. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and listening. I do appreciate it. Have a good day and have a good night. I'll see you next time. Peace.